Nashville is facing an affordable housing challenge. This as the city faces a deficit of low cost rental options and many people feel they are left with nowhere to go. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs talked to a tenant at an apartment complex who says the property told him they will no longer take in Section 8 renters. Before I moved in here, I was living out in the woods in a tent for three years. Thomas Sweet has called the Village West Apartments home for more than two and a half years. And in this time, Sweet says the neighborhood has changed. All these houses over here and the new houses over there, what they're building over here, it's like they're surrounding us. He says by just looking around, it feels like he and his neighbors are being forced out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. The changes are happening right outside his doorstep. About six months ago. Four to six months ago, that's when uh, Tina and Sam got a letter on their door. Village West will no longer be in an affordable housing tax credit community, which could ultimately impact 24 families. And then Therese got one on her door, and uh, another lady down over here got one on her door. And next thing I know, there's a bunch of moving trucks coming in and people moving out. I was like, wow. Like many other properties in Nashville, Village West will become a conventional market rate property. Tenants were given plenty of notice and offered relocation assistance, but some still worry about where they'll go next. They're just going to be getting rid of Section 8 a little at a time, so I don't, never know when my letter's coming. At least 7,000 people in Nashville use Section 8 vouchers to help with rent costs according to the city, but only 700 landlords accept those vouchers. The list of properties gets shorter every year. They do need more affordable housing, though, because I'm telling you, this pandemic's probably made a lot more people homeless. A lot of people couldn't pay their rent. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people lost their lives. On a fixed income, Sweet is bringing in just $800 from disability and Social Security. Living in Section 8 housing, Sweet pays $159 a month for rent. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Property management is assisting current residents in locating as well as offering relocation funds to assist with moving costs. To read more about the plans, head to this story on our website at newschannel5.com.